Shares of 23andMe are now worth pennies. The company's valuation has plummeted 99% from its $6 billion peak shortly after the company went public in 2021. What is the company's plan for all the data it has collected since it was founded in 2006? What will 23andMe do with the DNA data of 15 million customers? Andy Kill, a spokesperson for 23andMe, would not comment on what the company might do with its trove of genetic data beyond general pronouncements about its commitment to privacy. The company has an agreement with pharmaceutical giant GlaxoSmithKline, or GSK, that allows the drug maker to tap the tech company's customer data to develop new treatments for disease. The Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act, also known as HIPAA, does not apply to 23andMe since it is a company outside of the healthcare realm. According to the company, all of its genetic data is anonymized, meaning there is no way for GSK or any other third party to connect the sample to a real person. That, however, could make it nearly impossible for a customer to renege on their decision to allow researchers to access their DNA data. 23andMe says it will not let law enforcement search its database. Vera Eidelman, a staff attorney with the American Civil Liberties Union who specializes in privacy and technology policy, said the patchwork of state laws governing DNA data makes the generic data of millions potentially vulnerable to being sold off or even mined by law enforcement. The company has, however, received subpoenas to access its genetic information. According to 23andMe's transparency report, authorities have sought genetic data on 15 individuals since 2015, but the company has resisted the requests and never produced data for investigators. We treat law enforcement inquiries, such as a valid subpoena or court order, with the utmost seriousness. We use all legal measures to resist any and all requests in order to protect our customers' privacy, Kill said. The board resigns after a split with CEO Wojcicki. Two recent developments have added even more fuel to privacy concerns. Last year, the company was hit with a major data breach that, they said, affected nearly 7 million customer accounts, including about 14,000 who had their passwords stolen. And earlier this month, 23andMe's board of directors and the company's CEO had a dramatic falling out. After chief executive Ann Wojcicki proposed a plan to purchase all of the company's outstanding shares herself and take the company private, the board pushed back and, eventually, resigned en masse. Some analysts predict that 23andMe could go out of business by next year, barring a bankruptcy proceeding that could potentially restructure the company. Like and subscribe.